But remember, we still have to set the canopies. So transparent canopies, how to set them. I'm going to do a separate video for this. If you are too lazy to paint the canopies and set them up, we have three different canopies set for you. Okay, different colors already cut and already painted. So if you're lazy, go ahead and order one of the canopy, three color canopy set. All right, so before we put the canopy, the next thing is installing the FPV plate using the rubber damping balls. I don't think I have to describe how to do that. So install the FPV plate and you can mount your cameras, Mobius, as mm, GoPro, whatever you want to use. And you can also uh, mount, uh, how to say, your FPV system on this one and you're ready for crazy fast FPV racing action. So first off, so first thing first, let's go test it and see how this quadcopter is behaving uh, and if it's flying very well and all the flight modes are working really nicely. So install the propellers. So I'll install the propellers and go for my first test flight in my bedroom right away. Welcome to my bedroom and uh, well, don't do this. Don't follow me for your first flight. Please go out and test it there. For me, I'm crazy and I can't wait to test it. So turn the radio on. Check the tilting working. And uh, let's get ready for the flight. First flight. And I'm going to turn on the tilting now. Now you can see the tilting is on. How far Tucker is shooting forward without tilting forward. Very level flight. If I turn off the elevator to elevator mixing, you can see quadcopter tries to tilt more. Turn on elevator to elevator mixing. Very level flight. Turn off everything, Acro Plus mode. I'm not going to do any aerobatics here. Oh! Very responsive, very, very responsive, very aggressive. Disarm the motors. Well, you have just built world's first 260 millimeter category tilt rotor FPV racing quadcopter. Welcome to the crazy, insane, fast leveled flights with the tilt rotor. Go out and rip some speeds. But before that, let me do one last video that is how to set up the transparent canopies, how to paint them, how to cut them, how to put them on. It's pretty easy actually, I shouldn't be doing that video, but let's just do it. Can't wait to bring this baby out, set up FPV system on it, and rip some speeds outside. Okay, it's time we uh, set up the canopy on the quadcopter. For that, 
you should install your FPV plate and FPV system because you're gonna cut the canopy accordingly okay sometimes it's too high okay and if you want it to sit lower you can use a smaller damping rubber damping balls but the rubber damping balls provided with the quadcopter are a little bit taller these rubber balls provided with the quadcopter are a little bit taller so you can add them and add the uh, FPV plate. So after a little bit of wrestling I was able to install <laughs> the FPV plate here. Now if you look at the canopy from up close, the transparent one, I don't know if uh, camera will focus or not, uh, you will find that there are already lines on the canopy drawn. So first thing what you want to do is go along the line and cut the canopy along the lines and after that we will cut it more according to our ESC setup making sure the canopies none of the canopy areas are going to touch the ESC's or cables or if even they touch they're not going to bother it too much then we will make the holes and install the canopy uh, holder plastic rings and then see how the canopy fits so let's cut the canopy first okay now that the canopy is cut go along the lines and cut the canopy but let later you will do a little bit of more tweaking cut on this one so for now if you put it on don't press it all the way down because you you want to have some space for your uh, height of your uh, video transmitter and camera FPV camera etc etc now if you're going to install Mobius camera okay so Mobius will sit right here on the front as far out as possible in that case you will have to cut the canopy more to allow the Mobius to sit. If you like you can go along the lines of Mobius in order to exactly fit the Mobius right under the canopy. So that depends which camera are you going to use. If you're not using any camera on top okay and you want to go with the GoPro and get the live video feed with the GoPro do not worry GoPro will fit right here under the you know the space provided for the GoPro so it will fit right here under the FPV plate and then you can take the AV out or video out from the GoPro uh, and fly with the GoPro live video feed but Canopy will give you extra benefits of aerodynamics so I will suggest highly suggest that you install it so according to everything that will fit under the Canopy and its height I will suggest you bring the battery as well well we have points to make holes and install those rubber pieces but don't drill don't make holes right away add everything inside and then accordingly raise your canopy okay and start marking where you are gonna dig the hole to install these little white rubber pieces so let me bring my pen now when doing the hole also make sure to look at the back side okay and make sure the canopy after drilling the hole the canopy stays perfectly leveled okay so this is what you need to do otherwise canopy one side down one side up is gonna look very ugly so accordingly uh, check everything level out the canopy and then uh, mark the points where you're gonna uh, make holes to install these little white rubber pieces which will go on canopy holders and then check the canopy you might need to cut some more on the canopy after installing those pieces because as I mentioned you don't want your ESC's to touch so make sure to tilt front and back completely to see where the ESC's are touching and then cut that area accordingly Ta -da! my canopy is ready mounted nicely okay here is a little bit higher but I can adjust it easily so don't make these kind of mistakes when you do it uh, the next thing what I need to do is because I'll be using a GoPro so I'm not gonna cut the forward section the next thing is you want to cut is in the center here a hole the lines are again given here so cut along the lines for you to let your um, uh, clover leaf antennas go in or uh, go through okay because once you mount the uh, FPV system here your clover leaf antenna will come out here if you don't use clover leaf antennas you're using rubber duck don't make too big a hole now next thing to do is to paint the canopy well I am going to do it real quick and uh, use a spray can Psst, that's it and quickly spray paint it 
Remember to paint it from spray paint it from inside so you will have a lot of gloss on the outside, okay? So one thing next so next thing I'm gonna paint the canopy, okay? And remember one more thing. You need to protect your bottom of the quadcopter. That is the power distribution board and other cables, etc. etc. Because if you're tilting full forward and you hit because if you're tilting full forward and you hit down and something breaks your power distribution board, you are done. For that, well, uh, PNP versions and um, how to say, ready to fly versions, of course, will have the bottom PVC cover. But if you don't have it, all you need to do is simply go ahead and buy another canopy. They're pretty cheap, okay? And this another canopy, we will simply cut it all the way down in straight shape in order to just put it down here and protect the gear and we will use some velcro double-sided velcro to stick the uh, bottom PVC cover or bottom canopy to protect our power distribution board and cable so let me do it right away okay so the other canopy cut in this way alright you can see very clearly that this is going to sit here and protect your uh, power distribution board and uh, you know other cables